For one of the world's biggest pop stars, Britney Spears' climb up the property ladder has been far from straightforward. Her life, an accumulation of wealth and houses, has been complicated by her much-discussed conservatorship. Now free from the control which has taken over her finances, personal life and medical decisions, and recently married to Sam Askery, we go through the keyhole into the homes of the Princess of Pop. On 12 November 2022, after nearly 14 years, Britney Spears' conservatorship finally came to an end after a Los Angeles judge terminated the court-ordered arrangement. The landmark ruling came after Britney spoke in court in June, revealing just how much the arrangement controlled her life. In one particularly shocking report, it was revealed that she was unable to make basic decisions about her life over things such as decorating her Thousand Oaks mansion, where she could go and even whether she was able to have a baby with Sam Askery. With a net worth of $60 million that Forbes called shockingly low compared to her contemporaries, Jennifer Lopez and Jessica Simpson the notoriously private star has worked her way through an incredible roster of real estate over the years, including a paparazzi-proof mansion in Beverly Hills and a stylish New York penthouse. But Britney wasn't born into such a palatial property. Starting from her modest childhood home in Kentwood, we look back through Britney's road to fame and peak inside the property she's stayed in along the way. At the age of eight, the budding singer went to audition for a role on Disney's The All-New Mickey Mouse Club but didn't land a part. However, just two years later at 10 years old, she showcased her talents on Star Search, which gained her some public attention, despite not winning. Britney and her family lived in this humble ranch-style home in Kentwood, Louisiana, where Britney spent most of her childhood until she was signed by Jive Records at just 15. Sitting on a two-acre lot, the house has three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, which would have been perfect for the young family. Britney Spears' Louisiana Estate After the huge success of her first single and her debut album, which was released in January 1999 and sold 25 million copies worldwide, the star decided to splash out on a home just outside of Kentwood, Louisiana. Named Serenity, the custom-built property is still home to Lynn Spears, Britney's mother. Britney Spears' first Hollywood home. Zillow. In 2001, not long after the success of her second studio album Oops! I Did It Again, Spears signed a $7 million deal with Pepsi. The star then snapped up this home in the celebrity property hotspot of the Hollywood Hills for $2.9 million not long after. Britney went on to sell the home to late actress Britney Murphy in 2003 for 3.9. Since the star lived in the home, it's undergone extensive ground-up renovations and is unrecognizable. Located above Sunset Strip, it boasts five bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms with sleek finishes throughout and floor-to-ceiling windows that look out over expansive city views. Britney was living in the home while dating Justin Timberlake, and it would have been the perfect place for the coop to hide away. Today, the high-end kitchen opens out onto the wooden planked patio deck, which is perfect for alfresco dining. The huge 2,000-square-foot master suite with sweeping views of the city boasts two walk-in wardrobes, two inside bathrooms and a private patio. As well as all of this, the home features jaw-dropping amenities including an elevator from the garage to the master bedroom, a wine cellar, home theater and an infinity pool and spa. Britney Spears' New York Penthouse In 2002, before she sold her first-ever Hollywood home, Britney purchased a prestigious penthouse in the trendy NoHo area of New York City for Tyree Million Dollars. Located in the Silk Building which has been home to the likes of Cher, Keith Richards and Tom Cruise, the home was listed in 2004 for $6 million and finally sold in 2006 for $4 million. Spread over 4,400 square feet and four floors, the quadruplex penthouse has three bedrooms, five bathrooms and 13-foot-high ceilings. The airy open-plan living and dining room with a retro red leather banquet and kitchen are all located on the same floor. Built around 1908 and converted in 1983, this famous loft in the heart of Greenwich Village is the perfect fit for a young A-lister. The fully serviced historic property offers a 24-hour doorman, a roof deck and a stunning lobby. Britney Spears' Marital Home after releasing her fourth successful album, In The Zone, in 2003, Britney went on to marry Kevin Federline in September 2004. The couple soon snapped up this property as their marital home the same year for a reported $13.5 million. They went on to sell the home for $10 million in August 2007 after they divorced. Britney Spears' Beverly Hills Mansion 
Fresh from her divorce with Kevin Federline and in the midst of a child custody battle, as well as working on a comeback tour, 2007 was a tough year for Britney as she underwent an incredibly public breakdown. However, in November of that year she purchased this private home in the summit area of Beverly Hills for $6.8 million. The Mediterranean-inspired villa offered Britney the privacy she needed during a troubled time and has been dubbed paparazzi-proof. The fortress-like home sits within a gated community and is spread over 7,500 square foot with soaring ceilings, stone floors and a glittering chandelier in the expansive hallway. Seven bathrooms sit alongside six bedrooms, which includes the master suite with a grand fireplace and private balcony. Elsewhere there's a large family room, chef's kitchen, theater and a separate maid's quarter, the perfect home for a private pop princess. Britney Spears rented escape. The pop star moved into this Calabasas home in 2009 with her two sons after her infamous breakdown the previous year. Now with all her money under a conservatorship with her father, she reportedly rented with an option to buy and invested more than $700,000 into upgrading the home. Amenities include an elevator, wine cellar, a library and maid's quarter and a subterranean garage equipped with two hydraulic car lifts. The estate is spread over an acre of land and includes a stunning glass mosaic swimming pool. After moving away from Calabasas, the star rented out another mansion in Thousand Oaks in 2011. Britney Spears' Thousand Oaks Retreat In 2012, with her career back on track once more, Britney decided to invest in this home in the Thousand Oaks area, not far from where she had been renting. The star reportedly purchased the home for $6.0 million before selling it in 2017 for $7 million during the last year of her sellout Las Vegas residency. The single-story home was built in 2010 and sits on one and a half acres of land within the guarded gates of the prestigious Sherwood Country Club. Inside the double-height grand foyer leads through to the formal living room, which boasts brown oak floors and exposed beam ceilings and a striking black marble fireplace. The five-bed, seven-bath home also boasts a media room, which sits just off the comfortable family room and open kitchen with two central islands. Outside, the modern Spanish-style estate sits in elegant grounds which are made up of two parcels of land. With sprawling views over the Santa Monica Mountains, the swimming pool is the perfect spot to enjoy the Californian sun. Britney's New Calabasas Mansion After tying the knot, and according to TMZ signing an ironclad prenup, the loved-up newlyweds began swiftly moving into their huge new mansion, with removal trucks seen outside the mansion on Monday, June 13, 2022, just four days after their wedding. The 11,650-square-foot abode was snapped up by Britney for $11.8 million, as first reported by the TMZ, and resides within the celebrity-favorite neighborhood of Calabasas, near Los Angeles. Moving inside, the stunning 33-foot foyer clad in Cantera stone shows off grand marble floors, elegant molding and distinguished chandeliers that feature throughout. Bedroom, 9-bathroom manse sits on 1.6 acres of land and can be found nearby Britney's ex-husband Kevin Federline's home where he lives with their two teenage sons Sean, 16, and Jaden, 15. According to Dirt, newlyweds Travis Barker and Courtney Kardashian Barker are also some of her nearest neighbors, should she need help settling in.